So, Mr. Joe, thank Hello. you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Mm, I'm just course. so happy to be here. I've been dreaming of this moment ever since I watched the first one. Beautiful. I was thinking, when am I going to be in the hot seat? Oh, here I am today. Now you're here. Yeah, man. No, oh. I'm so glad. Uh, so, Joe, let, let us know. Oh, actually, you know what? First question. <clears throat> let me ask. Yeah, I think it. a lot of people also don't know. So tell us about yourself. Tell us about like what do you what do you do? Like, I know you know you are a huge like I know you love perfumes. I actually yeah. you know I met every, every a lot of people that they love perfumes, but I've I think you have a different yeah different love different passion yeah. for fragrances. I don't know. <laughs> there is a word <laughs> yeah. that replaces love mm. for the kind of love that I have for yeah. perfume because it is it it is a, it is a combination of an addiction. Mm. It's a combination of. I mean, just uh, every every possible thing that you, anything that's perfume, I and I want to experience it. I want to, uh, you know, see what it's like and and have it. So like, I I love perfume. Okay, to say I love perfume that's an understatement. I love perfume. You have a great eye. You have a great pick for this stuff. So I do. Yeah, and a nose that. too. I definitely have a big nose. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's a nose. The eye yeah. is the one thing. I have a nose. Sure. You have a nose, nose for it. You know, that's true. And, and that's yeah. the thing is like I, I smell things. I'm like, oh yeah, Ahmed's gonna love this. Mm. Or like, I, and any time I think of, I, I just think of well, if I like it, and and then like how many of these do I like? Mm. So maybe a, a brand will have seven perfumes, and I'm like, okay, I like this, I like this, I like this. Oh my gosh, like three for three, mm. and then I'm like going down the line. I'm like, man, five out of the seven were like hits, right. like absolute hits, mm. and then. You like you look at the branding, the packaging, the story, mm. the the person. The, again, back to the people, the people behind the brand, mm. especially some of the ones that are coming down the down the line. Um, one in particular that I'm thinking of, she's a sweetheart, and I can't wait, can't wait to see her stuff in your place. Yeah, because it's amazing stuff. I think Absolutely. we can say it. I mean, you just say it. I think if, if we can promote her, I actually love her fragrances. If you can yeah. then check it, check it out. Yeah. Uh, it's Mebby Sue. Mebby Sue, yeah. Mebby Sue, yeah. yeah. I discovered her when I was uh, this last summer uh, mm. in Turkey, in Istanbul. And it was the, the greatest discovery I made mm. when I was there. Yeah. The greatest discovery I made. And I was in a department store in Nishantiche, mm. in, which is like the... I would say the Rodeo Drive area of Istanbul. of Istanbul. Yeah. And I was in a department store and I saw the these boxes that were like look like books that were like bound and they had like stitched they were hand stitched bound books and I'm like I have never seen this before and then I saw the bottles and then I was like well okay they, they look cool but how do they smell? Mm -hmm. And then I go to each one I'm like Oh my God. Yeah. And I go to the next one. I'm like, Oh my God, it's so good. And then the next one, I'm like, okay, done. Mm. And then I immediately, immediately like wrote her. I didn't know it was a her, by the way. I didn't know who, who the person was behind the, the brand at all. I wrote Boucher. Mm -hmm. I, I wrote her and she replied back to me. And then we met, we met like that week. Nice. She took time out of her day to meet me. She's a wonderful person. She spent time with my wife mm -hmm. when she went there alone. My wife went back to Istanbul alone in November because we had our baby through mm -hmm. IVF. Yeah. It's, it's, it's public knowledge. Mm -hmm. We had our baby through, through IVF, and we had it in, in Istanbul. Nice. And, um, and my wife went alone for the second round of IVF. And uh, Boucher was there for my wife when... You know, she needed to go to the hospital to to see if she got pregnant. And a couple of times they hung out. Mm. And she was such a sweetheart to my wife and That's to so our, us. And, yeah. um, and, and she is an incredible, savvy businesswoman. But it, and she's doing this amazing brand. Mm. Like, and I, I'm telling you folks, it is going to be Good. amazing. And, and you is. know, I already know that. Somebody has them, had them, mm -hmm. or still has them mm -hmm. before, yeah. you know, before you guys did. Yeah. But now it will be a little more accessible mm. than before. Yeah. Because before it was a little hard. Everything that comes out of Istanbul, let's face it, it's hard to get. It's expensive, but it's also super hard to get. 
So there's a lot more brands that are coming in here from Istanbul. And they're all going to come together on one container. So hers is one of them. No, you know, yeah. I actually, when you sent me the samples, I love the packaging. I love the yeah. visuals and everything about the bottles and also this fragrance itself. So, yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's always like bringing things from Turkey is a little bit difficult, more yeah. difficult than any, everywhere else sure, because it's just like, yeah. but it's just so that it takes time. But, you know, hopefully it will be here soon. We are bringing some new brands from there. But, you know, they actually, you know, a lot of perfumers or the companies that are coming from Turkey and Istanbul and they're doing a great job now. Like, you know. Yeah. We were talking about right before uniquely uh yeah that Uni uniquea Unique, yeah. yeah he's actually doing a really fantastic great stuff and well. it's and in so. in the name unique yeah, yeah. literally yeah. means unique like unique mm. and his perfumes are absolutely unique yeah incredibly good stuff powerful potent oh, oh yeah. i mean gosh yeah. kute is a holy grail when it comes to like boozy mm. perfumes that are statement Usually boozy stuff is not statement because it's like it sits close to the skin. It's very like, you know, sexy and enigmatic. But his boozy perfume is like loud. And like yeah. it will, like when you come into a room, you will take over the room. His I Love Chocolate one. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, for sure, man. One of the best chocolate, one perfumes, of the best chocolate perfumes ever. One of the best gold And on Marshmallow yeah. and all those marshmallows and like all that stuff that he mm. introduced at, at, at uh, Send Explore. Mm. Fantastic stuff. I, c I probably I wish I had all of his stuff. I only have two of two of their perfumes, but like, I have experienced it and I love it. Yeah. Well, soon hopefully you know we got to get that brand as well. So we'll have uh, yeah <laughs> huge. Elf, It'll just yeah. be a, a a lot of great great Perfume. things. So yeah, no, it's good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, you know to see all of these creations and approaches to different perfumes and the way these guys are yeah. doing. It. So you ready to smell some fragrances? Yeah, go. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. So yeah, uh, it's fragrance sniffing time, <laughs> fragrance, folks. Uh, so let's do with. Uh, what do you want to? Uh, oh, you haven't tried uh, any of them. So let's go no, with Michali Red Mikhailif. Colorado first. This is their uh, newest release. Yeah, Michali Red Colorado. And this is the bottle. Like this is how they're going. Like with all their presentations now. The this new presentation. They're gonna look. Yeah, and I love that too because they've incorporated all that in there, and then. Um, you know, some people don't realize that, of course, you could put your bottle on display like this, but actually it's meant to be displayed like this. That way. Yeah. So that you could have all your Mikalefs together mm -hmm. and see the names right there. And so let's see what Red Colorado that is was all about. I'll let you spray it because you're yeah. the boss. Because, <laughs> because you know, yeah, you know, actually, right, they also have, they have a, you know, they, they thought about like how they put it together. So. You know, color coded and yeah. how they look like, and then when you put all these bottles next to each other, they look pretty cool. It does look pretty uh, cool. Uh, they even have something new, like a gin, a gin and yeah. tonic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So gin and tonic would be released, uh, I think, end of this month. So which Just is a great fragrance for, for summer. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> oh yeah. All the notes are on the back of the bottle there. Oh uh, notes, yeah. So. This have, uh, I mean, if you want to read it, actually, you can read it. So, oh, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's... Bergamot, oriental herbal, uh, birch leaves, cypress, pine fir, cedarwood, pine wood, sandalwood, lots of wood, gayak wood, patchouli, love patchouli. Uh, woody, noir, vanilla, musk, leather... Leather, no leathery notes, but that's okay because everybody knows that leather does. Leather notes, yeah. It's an accord, <clears throat> a balsamic and amber. It's fantastic. It's a very good fragrance, and you know, I guess because it's also they, they call it red Colorado. It reminds you of that pine wood that yeah. all the you know when you go to Colorado, it's and so the red it's, clay, the red earth. Red earth it's a, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful. I think it's a great fragrance yeah. for fall, spring, uh, and it waiting. lasts long, man. Still waiting this on thing. this to come come to my yeah. collection, but I heard I heard great things about uh, this, and now it's great to finally smell it. I yeah. love it. It's good. So you like this? Yeah, oh, I yeah. like it. I actually, oh, yeah. I, I I wear it. I I'm still wearing it sometimes, but now New York is getting a little bit hot, so I don't think I can. And it's humid, so you can't really. I think it's gonna be too much uh, for this. Yeah. But, See, but for me, like I I'll wear whatever. Yeah. Like, Even uh, if it's humid, you're gonna be okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because I'm I'm well. See. That's the other thing too is I wear because I'm indoors, yeah. air conditioned anyway. 
I could yeah. be outdoors. If I was outdoors playing basketball or if I was yeah, outdoors. that's true. Uh, whatever, at the beach, yeah, then I'm probably not going to be wearing oud. Mm -hmm. But if I was indoors, if I knew I was going to go like to a mall or to an indoor event where it's well air conditioned, I don't care if it's 100,000 100, degrees outside, I'm going to wear no, that's like true. The, you know, sometimes, the most you know, uh, I, I, no, I, I agree with that. So, you know, the only thing sometimes, uh, you know, I think about, like, if I go to a, like a place or a restaurant that are too many people and it's hot, I don't wear like fragrances like that because I think maybe sometimes it may, may be offensive. That's yeah, are you, worried, are you worried about offending people? Sometimes I'm like, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to be that. You know, I, uh, even though I don't care, but I'm like, yeah, that, maybe I overthink about it. I don't, I don't know because yeah. I think it's the great conversation starter. Yeah. Oh, you walked right by me. I didn't know who I that was. was. Oh my god, you smell so good. What was that? Mm. That's the reaction I want when I walk yeah. into a room, and I get that sometimes. I love that. It's unsolicited. Yeah. Unsolicited. But, you know, yeah. like it's awesome. Like I was like, I I knew I smelled something good. Who was that? So no, I get know. it. No, 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 for sure. I yeah, actually yeah. love the comp. That's why you were You're fragrances. You're gonna gain a lot more confidence. Yeah, but the only the only thing is that, like I try to go based on seasons. Like this oh, is I what know. I wear, yeah, and yeah. then I do it that way. So it's just like it's okay. You're being yeah. considerate. I'm sometimes I'm too considerate. Yeah, You're yeah, right, yeah. And, you know? and I sound like I'm <laughs> someone who's inconsiderate by yeah. doing that. So so Jane, can we have Flower Lush? Yes. So this is a new release. By uh, Oman, Oman Luxury. Luxury. Yeah. Love and, the new uh, you know, this, when they released this, and this is this is new, I think they released it a month or two months ago. Uh, what I loved about it a lot is uh, I, I wasn't a big fan of floral notes, but then the more I understood the uh, high end niche perfumeries, yes. I started to like florals because yes. it's a different approach. Same, same with me, by the yeah. way. I didn't gravitate to florals at mm. the very beginning, but now I appreciate florals when they're done well nice yeah well like you know and some of the my favorite well first of all i've always loved rose mm -hmm. so rose was never an issue with me but like certain other things might i wouldn't have gone to it first yeah but now yeah now you go so this one all right. it was one of the you know one of you know one of the flower or floral no, fragrances oh, yeah. that i was like oh i actually can wear this and this is very sexy oh yeah there's all definitely right. rose in this yeah i'd be shocked I'm, I'm, that there wasn't but i think there's also musk I'm going to, I think there is musk. So I'll There's bring musk. The I pick up on musk. Just in case. Fruity notes. I pick up on plenty of fruity notes in this too as well. This is a fruity floral. Yeah. Fruity floral musky. Um, see, like some people would say Erba Pura is also a fruity floral musky and some other things like that. Mm -hmm. But this is really good. Very good. So and you're right. You know, it has top is bergamot, citruses, mandarin, orange. Yep. Middle is rose, jasmine. Yep. And then on the bottom is patchouli, musk, agavut, and sandalwood. Yes. It's all, you know, it's a great See, mixture of all. Get this. This is a rose oud. It's a rose oud. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? But, and it's, but it's fresh rose oud. You know, it's just. Yes. Uh, it's so good. And it's unisex, folks. Yeah. Don't be afraid of like. No, don't be afraid. Yeah. yeah. Just because it says flower. Lush, 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 flower lush, flower lush. But I think it's a very unisex. Oh, totally! Fragrance. Don't I would wear this? I wore it. I still Heck wear yeah. it sometimes. Heck yeah. yeah! I'm loving how it's already evolved on the paper. Mm -hmm. It's like ambery now. It's really nice. Also, you know, I kind of want to uh, remind people that if you are spraying fragrances on blotters or uh, testing a strip, make sure you get the right one. Because if yes. you just spray it on anything, it doesn't perform the same. Yes. And of course, on the screen, it's always more different. You, it will be the real performance. But these really matter. You have to you know, yeah, find a good don't, quality. Yeah, don't get ones. a glossy blotter that's yeah. full of uh, ink or something on it, like the, where, the, where yeah. the perfume runs down. Or don't get a blotter that smells like something already, like smells like the print factory that it came from. It just kills you want, the, you know, you you're not going to smell the real Yeah, you want a blotter that's, absorb, that's thick enough to absorb and you also want a blotter that is uh is neutral extremely neutral in the whole thing yeah yeah okay what else do you have for me so let's try uh virtus bengal okay so this is also their o newest release uh i want here. that virtus bengal i think this we just got it got this in two weeks ago so uh it's a great summer fragrance i think it's good for for this time of the year yeah. 
The name like Bengali, I think of Bengali, Bengali. Tigers. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love this. All right, you'll have to pull up the notes for I me. I have to pull up the this, yeah. But actually. but I'm gonna but but I want to start guessing what some of this stuff is. It's Go like, for it, yeah. Because I feel like there's an animalic aspect to this, like a leather type thing. So I know you said this is good for like this is actually a, a fall one too. It can be fall too, yeah. I mean, I'm loving where this is going. It's is a little smoky, just a little smoky, uh, fruity, leathery, uh, woody. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's good. No, I mean, you're, you're very close. I mean, yeah. it has bergamot, davana. I'm not sure what davana is. Yep, davana, but, yep. you know, what I was trying to understand on top was, is ginger. It has ginger on top notes. Yeah. So, and then main middle is leather, patchouli, rose. Okay. And the base note is vanilla, suede, sandalwood, and amber. It's actually a yeah. pretty good color. So, all the things I, uh, just yeah. about all the very things. Very close. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 90%. So, and I love how when I'm going back to this, I'm smelling something different now. Mm. Each time I'm getting something a little different. It's powerful. This is a statement fragrance for it's sure. Yeah. It's a statement fragrance. And actually, Vertus lately <clears throat> has been coming out with a lot of really good statement perfumes. Like Chaos was the one I smelled mm -hmm. back in 2020 when I was at in Istanbul at their headquarters. They showed me Chaos before it came out. Yeah. And I was like, oh. It is chaos. Oh my that fragrance. gosh! Yeah, it's very, There's a story about that one. Yeah. Holy cow! At work, mm -hmm. my friend, I because I, I I had chaos at work. Um, I just received it in the mail from this little place called Max Aroma, <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know who they, are. Yeah. but they they shipped it to me and and I had it at work and my friend was like, I want to smell it, and he put two sprays on, two. Mm -hmm. And it blew the f the sales floor out. You, you you will blow out a perfumery mm. with chaos. It is that good? Yeah. But that's what it is. Like that's a statement perfume. That's an it aquatic. Is. It's a loud, musky, mm. aquatic, floral, and it's I've never smelled anything as loud as that. But that's why it's called chaos. That's why it's called. It cr it's literally created for, chaos yeah, at work. It is. Even the, the bottle itself is like, I love you know, with the chaotic. Splats, yeah. The little splats yeah. all over the place. I love that. Yeah. No, Vertus is also doing a great <laughs> job. I love their, you know, I, I don't know if you yeah. tried their vanilla oud. I it's, did. It's I used beautiful. I I, I yeah. don't have it anymore. I yeah. have a friend. I, I had the vanilla oud. Is it vanilla oud or amber? One of them. It's, I think it's vanilla oud. The vanilla oud. Vanilla oud. Yeah. It's beautiful. One it, of the best is. vanilla it, oud fragrances I've I, I know. And yeah. I have a friend who who wanted it, so mm. I ended up letting him. Uh, well, we are out. We just ran out recently. I'll, I'll get, I'll get another one. Yeah. I'll get another one. Yeah, but it's, it's I know pretty. a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, uh, let's do last one. And you know, uh, even though we still have that, we don't have these fragrances yet. Hopefully, we gotta get it soon. But because I just you know, we, we, again, we talked about Hamid Merati and how much we yeah. adore him, and he's a beautiful gentleman. So Hamid and uh, and I think you you're very Barbara. Well, yeah, yeah Barbara yeah. you're well aware of it. They they uh, launched their own line of perfumes or fragrances. It called uh, it's and the name of it is Fabrica de la Musa. Fabrica de la Musa. Yeah, and it's an Italian. I think it's an Italian brand. Yeah, they have actually six perfumes in their line. Three of them in the white line. Three of them in the black line. The three in the white line are supposedly their feminine line. The three in the black line is their masculine line. However. Everything is shared. It's all unisex. Mm -hmm. So you can wear the white ones. You can wear the black ones. It doesn't matter whether you're white, black, girl, boy, whatever. Mm -hmm. You can wear them all. Does it? So. And you know, the uh, you know, I was always, because not Hamid is not Italian. Uh, 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 Barbara is not Italian. But they have a huge love for Italy. Italy, And yes. they got inspired by it. And they created these fragrances based yes. on that. And I mean, and if you guys know Hamid Merati, he's like, again, superstar perfumer. And he's just behind all of these fragrances. Yeah. And this is one of my favorite yeah. ones, which is Magia Mastrale. Magia, yeah. So this is the bottle. You open it like this. There's a card here that has all the, the notes. notes and fragrances. I love that. And, uh, and it's a bookmark too. You it's a bookmark. Use it as a, yeah. you use it as a bookmark. And what I love about them, they uh, and it's it's uh, they they mentioned this here as well that 
you know every uh, bottle that you buy from them uh they the you know the, uh, a percentage of the profit goes back to the farmers that they yeah. source their ingredients from. kind of like fair trade you know like in a way like it goes back to the where they sourced the perfume oils because like like we said the oils can come from around the world so it's awesome yeah it's actually a very cool thing to do i think you know because you have to take care of those people they work really hard so uh, uh love the bottle though. love yeah. the bottle and the cap the bottle is the way really it good slants a little bit to the top yeah. there is it Pick magnetic it it's, not magnetic. it's not magnetic they actually changed the so these are the old packaging they are recently changing their cap it will be the same but it will be zamac and it's much, much heavier okay yeah so this is it's going to be like two times heavier than okay this. yeah good uh, I may, may have the older, I have the older caps. So. Yeah, I mean, this is still older cap. I think the new one's coming out next month or two. There will be old Zamek. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, Magica. It's Magia Maestral. Oh, Magia Maestral, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm... Uh, no, you're right, yeah. You're much and better than, uh, you know... Pressurized being. atomizer. Like, oh, look, yes. like, feel how good that... Yeah. See, that's that's part of... The, see, this is what you get. It's details. Attention, Attention to, to details. details. Yeah. Um, also, notice that the straw is one of those invisible straws. That's right. Yeah, you can't see the straw in there. So... I love this. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Yeah, man. like, it's so good. And none of, none of these perfumes are too heavy to hmm. wear year round every one of these in, including this can be worn year round yeah and this it's, is it's totally they're year round. all the whole six all of them they're easy to wear it's they're easy fragrances to gift people are gonna Absolutely. like them. they're very oh, easy. yeah and there's quality uh, this one has cinnamon cardamom mandarin incense lavender geranium benzoin benzoin benzoin, benzoin yeah, which yeah. is like a it's like a resin that's like kind of vanilla esque. Yeah, it's vanilla. It's sweet. It's sweetish, and then yeah. it has vanilla absolute and leather accord. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. fragrance. I love this. Yeah, I it's mean, as soon as that's why I got the bottle. When he was like, "I mean, can I just yes. can I take this bottle?" Yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm glad you took this one yeah. of all the bottles. I mean, they're all great. They're all great. But I mean, yeah, yeah if you're gonna get something that like you just this know, was this like is more be... masculine for me. You know, I was like, oh, actually I can wear this anytime, and, and I got yeah. a compliment right that night when I got nice. it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, you know, we talk about, like, leather. Like, mm. you know, first thing that people always think about when they think of leather, they think Tuscan leather. And this mm. is an Italian Italian perfume theme brand mm. that doesn't smell like Tuscan leather. Wow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Hamid, yeah. you're a genius. He's you're a genius. An awesome. You're a gentleman yeah. and a scholar and a perfumer. Well, hopefully, you know, he's going to, he's, uh, he's, if he comes to New York, we're going to do a podcast with him too. So, Hamid, if you hear me, uh, please accept my invitation. Yeah, uh, uh, and uh, so we can sit down and talk about it. Yeah, I'd love, I'd love. In fact, I can't wait to see that yeah, when, when, sure. when and if that happens. I hope he does. Mm. I'm a huge fan of of his work, and uh, maybe and you know we can do a roundtable. You can come in. Yeah, we all sit down. We all do it together. Oh my gosh, yeah. I would love that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's. Yeah, I mean, that's a I lot of great things. A lot of, a lot of great things, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you know time fly. You know, pretty fast, man. That was fun. Yeah, uh, I think you know we will. We have to. I have to invite you again, Joe. Please uh, come oh, over. I think we can talk for again. We've been talking since morning. We can talk for another. Oh day. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm never. It's never going to stop. Yeah, it's, it's just that's why I'm here. Yeah. That's why I'm here alone. By the way, because yeah. I can. I have the freedom to, to just be in the perfume. Explore. Ex yeah, <laughs> in the perfume yeah. world and just do my own thing, and mm -hmm. it's all good. I love you, honey. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you for you know for let letting Joe. And exactly. this time, I know you know you're you're how you're pregnant. You gotta have a baby soon. But thank you for letting us uh, have Joe here. Yes, yeah. thank you so much, honey. I love you. Yeah. I hope you're. I hope you do get to watch this and see what your beautiful, yeah. talented husband did. Yes. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. So thank you again, and thank you, Joe. Yeah. And we'll see you guys soon with the next uh, aroma talk. All, All right. right. Thank you. Thank Take you. care. Bye-bye. Bye. So uh, for this video, we are actually giving away all the bottles that uh, we discussed with Joe. Uh, so please make sure that you subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave a comment here. And let us know which bottle you really liked uh, and what are your thoughts about the fragrances we discussed. And in two weeks, we will pick a winner. We will post it on YouTube post. Uh, and, uh, you know, we will contact you. Please, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say it in every video. 
please uh you know if you see a scammer on on youtube leave you know that leave a comment or reply to you with the phone number and tell you to please you know to contact me through whatsapp or telegram and they ask for your information credit card information please do not get in touch with them that's not what we do this is a free giveaway we don't ask for any payment information we're just going to send it to you so please don't contact them uh and we're trying to report them you guys should if you guys see it please report them so we can get rid of them thank you very much and good luck to you guys